Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I have a whole thing for you uh, from the US um, base that I have access to. And I spent overall, I would say about almost $270. So I spent $126 which came out of my bank as pounds, as 101 pounds in the commissary, and then $139 in the BX, which was about 111 pounds, okay? So in total, it was 211 pounds, 200 and five, six, $265, okay? Let me show I'm you. I'm gonna start I with what I bought at the BX side of things. I got the boys some toys. So I got Alex this reusable water bombs. I think this could potentially be really cool. It was $5 something. Um, Alex does not, re it's not really into toys that much, but I thought this would be really good fun. I got Ozzy this, it's already been opened. Look, it's like a little, you guys know. It's, it's Fisher Price, I think. Yeah. I actually got this to put in the car for uh, when we go on like journeys or things like that as a little something different. So I got Aussie that. That was like $14.99, that one. Then I got the boys. Some of their clothes were on offer. Uh, so I got a couple of things. So Aussie is actually pretty much done and um, I got him some stuff you guys might have seen from Lidl but I also got him some some H&M stuff which he's actually wearing today look little shorts <laughs> so yeah anyway I got him this shirt and it says six it was six euros six dollars sorry yeah, I think this was six dollars. Yeah, that was fine. It was this one that was on offer. I got this one for Alex. So it says $9.99. So it, it had like 20 or 25% off. I know I paid $7.49 for it and it's like old navy. And I also got him this one. This was a long sleeve, so more for like sort of um winter or autumn. But I just love the pocket detail here. Um, this one I think was nine dollars this one was not on offer um, but this one was this was another one that I got for Alex again from Old Navy and it was $7.49 again with a discount so yeah I just picked those up they've got both now pretty much sorted I just need to find some pajamas for them then what else I got this nail polish from Sally Hansen. Now I see this as a really good brand and basically you guys, I painted my nails on Sunday. By Monday mid-morning, they were all peeling. So I thought, let me just try this brand because I know it's a good brand, see if it makes a difference. This is $5.99. I got some Clorox wipes, uh, $2 something. Got some more of this Banana Boat weightless protection um, this was on offer I'll put it on the screen I think it was like seven dollars uh, but we have this already it's almost out so I just bought another one picked up those air fresheners uh, these were less than two dollars I got some Mrs Myers soap if you're in the UK you guys know how hard it is to get hold of this anyway this was four dollars thirty nine so I think that's quite expensive. It's like just like three seventy or something, three pounds seventy. But I just wanted to um, to give that a try. I also picked up some shampoo. I went a bit fancy. I usually don't, but thought let me try that. This is for uh, all hair types. Lightweight hydration hibiscus water. And I got the conditioner as well. I want to say that these were almost $10 each. I got some hair dye. I usually get a different brand, but they didn't have it. So I just went for this one. 
I also got a really dark um, CoverGirl sort of um, foundation because I like adding a bit of foundation to my solar uh, protection. So my, what do I mean? My, gosh, my sun cream. So when I add my foundation, because it gets diluted with the other cream, it goes lighter. So I went for something a bit darker. So it's a bit, anyway, it was a punt. This was $10. Um, so yeah. Also got some tampons. Uh, as you can see, I had to open them. There was a bit of a situation. So anyway, got tampons, ultra, ultra. I've really struggled to find the, the super, well, in the UK, we would call them the super extra, you know, big flow kind of thing. So anyway, um, this wasn't too bad. I think it was $2 something, but this was like $4.00. Anyway, I ended up not needing that. And I also got myself a treat. This candle, Eucalyptus Mint. It smells incredible. Uh, it was $20 though. It says the white barn. The thing is, the actual sign said Bed Bath & Beyond. Not Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath... Bed and, what is it called? Bath & Bath and Body Works. Oh, it is part of them. I think like right at the bottom there says bbw i think that's bath and body works uh white bar it was 20 dollars, you guys i've never played that much but it is massive and it smells so refreshingly good so i can't wait to try that now all the stuff i got at the commissary got some savory savory butter rolls Hawaiian rolls i also picked up these i've never tried but I thought this might be fun. Um, I think, well, I think I know that um, Ozzy likes peanut butter, but he doesn't like peanut butter in bread or basically he likes the nut butter stuff, the nutty butter or you know, the biscuits. I just thought, let me get these. I love a bit of peanut butter me. So I thought that would be fun. Always getting these because these are delicious. Uh, the thin crisps picked up two things of bags I don't use these very often but I do need them sometimes and also some caramel rice cake I also picked up a big big excuse all the dirty stuff in there big thing of vinegar this was three dollars 29 which I thought was a great value it's five liters picked up some croutons I'm trying to make my um, salads a bit more interesting I got the Maria cookies because, you know, picked up some flowers as well. There. <laughs> then seasoning. Um, I gave loads of mine to Jill. So today I picked up a load more. I got this one. Uh, Culanto e achiote with coriander and annatto. I have no idea what annatto is, but doesn't matter this stuff is always delicious it was like one dollar eighty something there's um one with uh, saffron uh this one is magnificent and i also got this one adobo all-purpose seasoning i mean sounds amazing um i got some salsa con queso two things of tuna i also picked up some angel cake mix i just wanted to try that and then what else alex asked for some of this um hot chocolate because we bought it once you can get it in the uk in b&m or home bargains so um i saw it there he asked me the other day so i got him some nutri -Grain bars i got strawberry and blueberry uh what else oh i got the fruit pouches I actually, so these were $7, 12, and these were $8.11. But you see how it says carrot? I know that Aussie will drink that, so I just got him the ones. I paid one extra dollar on each for him to um, have the veggie one. Right at the back there, I have some um, dishwasher detergent. You guys know I have my new dishwasher over there. It takes half a tablet 
or five mils of detergent. So I thought this might be a lot easier to dispense. So yeah, got some of that. I got some seaweed for Alex and then a menagerie of crisps, you guys. So these are mainly for me. I love that with dip. And then for Paul, we got some sour cream and onion, French onion dip, he loved these. Honey barbecue as well. And then I got a pack of noodle. This was $4 for this lot. And some Frosty Flakes. Frozen, I got some Texas toast. And what else, what else? Oh, I got some Eggo waffles. And one more thing. Oh, I got some chicken pot stickers. Oh, they look delicious. I also got these pretzel hamburger buns. These were superb, elite. Paul and I had them for lunch. There was four of them. Had two each, delicious. Okay, so that's everything I got. Now, I actually went last week, on Thursday, I think it was. Today is Monday, so I've had a chance to try some of the stuff that I bought and review it a little bit for you. The first thing I'm gonna talk about, if you haven't noticed yet, is my nail polish. I'm actually quite impressed. This one is probably the worst nail. I don't know if you can see. So I put it on Thursday night. Today's Monday. That is not bad. Um, most of the peeling is right at the tips. Again, it's really hard to see, isn't it? Sorry, you guys. But I'm quite impressed. I think it lasted really well. The next thing I made a note to tell you about was the Mrs. Myers. Um, washing up wash this is my soap sorry i was quite surprised it's very highly fragrant it's not a bad thing i washed my hands not about 10 minutes ago and i can still smell it super strong smell again not a bad thing smells really really nice the one i went for is the verbana lemon verbana i think or verbena however you say it the next thing i'll talk to you about is the candle the candle smells incredible, really refreshing. Uh, but the other thing I noticed, I cannot have it on for long. Really strong um, throw. I think that's what you call it. So quite overpowering, not in a bad way, you know, but I, I put it on for maybe 20 minutes at a time and that's plenty to make the whole of the downstairs sort of fragrant. So I think that's kind of a good thing. Um, so yeah, love that. The next thing is the Ritz crackers. <laughs> they were delicious, the one with peanut butter. Paul and I loved it. Ozzy did not like it. I really like that the crackers on the outside have, have salt. I like the combo. I, I think they're delicious. Again, and so does Paul. Alex wouldn't touch it because of the peanut butter. He's not a fan. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the chicken pot stickers very very nice i really really like it um we sort of i boiled them for i think it's like five minutes and then gently fried them with no oil you know like dry fry or whatever you call it just so they brown on the outside and i noticed as well that i forgot to show you what i got that went in the fridge Right, let me show you really quick because there's only two things. I got some sour cream. Uh, there, is, In my eyes, I've tried different sour creams. This is really good. Um, I prefer this to the UK sour cream. And the other thing I got was butter. This butter is really good. $373 for, I think it's like, how many grams? 450 grams, so... That is a better price than uh, the Italy butter. So yeah, that's everything I got. Let me know what you think and I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care, bye.